So we're here at the IBC, and uh, so who are you? I'm Phil Levin, I'm chairman of a group called DVB, which um, produces technical standards for um, digital video broadcasting, whether it be satellite, cable, terrestrial, whatever, we do all the standards for that. So this has been going on for a long time, right? Uh, we're now 21 years old, um, so we're just coming of age. Um, we've been very successful. Um, there's about 1.1 billion DVB um, receivers around in the world, um, not just in Europe where we started, started in Geneva, um, but um, around the world, Asia, um, Africa, and so on. So the, the website is uh, dvb dvb.org. Org. That Org. means it's a non-profit or no? Non-profit. Non-profit. Non open, yeah. open system? O open system. We produce open standards um, that anybody can build equipment to. Our standards are published um, to the world, not only on our website, but also on the ETSI, the European Telecommunication Standards website, um, as open standards, so anybody can build products using our specifications. So we just look here, there's a bunch of press releases here with IBC. There's a S2X, uh, there's... Uh, so we produce terrestrial television, uh, standards for terrestrial television, uh, satellite television, cable television, um, and then we do all sorts of things like internet protocol television. So there's DVB, IPTV. IP so this is required. If there isn't that yeah. standard, it doesn't work? Or how does it... How? Well, um, we enable standards. We by, by having open standards, we make things happen. Right. So um, it started in 1993 when we were starting digital television. And people were saying, we need standards very quickly. We want open standards. We don't want different broadcasters using different equipment because we need the economies of scale that you get when you have millions of receivers in the market. So making a standard, is that a resolution, frame rate, uh, bit rate, codec, what uh, is it? Well, it's, it's much more than that. It's down to the bit level. We actually say, this is how we make the, the technology. Um, how do we transmit it, what coding information, what options, what flexibility and so forth. So, um, you know, almost every you know, television um, uh, system around the world has got DVB in it somewhere. We've been successful with terrestrial in um, Europe, Africa, Asia. Um, we haven't been successful in the United States or Japan or uh, Latin America. Really? Why? Uh, because there are other competing systems. The Americans had their own system. They have their, their system. own system. Uh, the Japanese system was used in Latin America. Um, so when they say ATSC, that's the yeah, competing that's system? AT, it's the equivalent of ATSC. But is that also open and what is it? Yes, yes, it is open, yes, yes. But it's different. It's right? different. It's different. And now, they're developing a new system called ATSC 3.0, which is their second generation standard, which is very similar um, to the DVB system. Right, so, you know, very similar, but why don't similar. they just all? Why doesn't everybody just work together? Not invented here syndrome. Yeah. Not invented here, yeah. and it's also and required. Some some uh, some of the yeah. uh, the countries want to have their own incompatible system for a reason. Yeah. They but, don't want to import cheaper stuff from outside. That that that, that, that has always been an issue. Um, that people have chosen standards deliberately to benefit their own local industry. Yeah, you know, um, about. In the 1980s, that had been seen to be an idiotic proposal, and this was a time when the European Union or the European Common Market was just being developed. And everybody was saying, "What we must have is we must have uni unified standards, so we can cross borders with no barriers to trade." And you know, choosing different standards is a barrier to trade. So, you know, what one of the things we've said, however, is we don't want the European Community um, to say. Um, you must use our standards, right? Um, and actually, they are technology neutral. They have made the decision that regulators should not get involved. Let the market decide. And, you know, the market has decided in favor of DVB. Um, and when there's new technologies, new spectrum, yeah. new bandwidth, new, new fiber, new, new then you get new DVBs. Yes. Like, what is this one, for example? So. Um, in, in the old days, you would have analog television one transmitter, one channel, and it would provide one television service. Now we've got DVB T2, which is our second generation terrestrial, and it's got seven 
high definition services in that one channel that was previously in used, one channel in one channel that was previously used for analog television one service only we are now able to offer seven high definition services before the analog was only standard definition so we've got a huge improvement nice right? so what is the s2x s2x is our satellite um, standard um, for 4k this is 4k and it's got four times 4k services in a single channel so is four. does that have anything to do with hevc or yeah. the bit rates yeah so um, this is taking um, we're off it's a satellite transmission there are four services um, using hevc and it can squeeze four high definition four ultra high definition services into a very narrow channel i'll show you this here here's a model of a transmitter this is a satellite transmitter and there's a receiver um, and I put my hand in here and it stops the signal. And if you look at the, yeah. if you look at the pattern, um, let me show you what happens. I put my hand in the way and I take it out again. The reception comes good. I block the signal completely. And nice. So 4K is absolutely yeah. awesome, but uh, yeah. is it going to happen mostly over satellite? What do you think? Oh, you, you, uh, you shouldn't be able to say what you think. Well, um, or is it going to come from the internet? We are, we are totally agnostic because we say, you know, we don't mind whether you deliver it by satellite, terrestrial, cable, internet, because we have standards which do all of them. So, you know, we are not in a battle between the systems. Um, but, having said that, satellite is a very, very clean way of doing it, right? Terrestrial is under pressure because of the spectrum demands of the mobile community, so, yeah. And there's all these things happening with this, the analog getting turned off, then there's more spectrum, yeah. but they want to use it for the internet. They they want, want, yeah, they want to take spectrum from broadcasters to use for um, mobile internet and so forth. And, you know, there's, there's clearly an argument in favor of some of that, but um, I think what you would say is that at the moment, most terrestrial television is free to air. You, you don't have to have, you know, a subscription to watch it. But when it... If you use that spectrum for the mobile community, they will want to charge a monthly subscription or you know, per gigabyte charge for watching it. And that would turn out to be quite expensive. So there's nice. a sort of social benefit in free to air television. So when this new technology is arriving and it seems more and more and faster and faster new stuff, yeah. does that mean you have to organize a bunch of people working together on new standards? Yeah, That's absolutely. what you do? I mean, this and is you... what we, we do this all the time. Every year we have groups working together on particular topics. Um, they, develop, they look at the, first of all, we decide on what's called the commercial requirements. We say, okay, what do we want out of this? What the broadcasters want, what the network operators want this new technology to do. So they specify the commercial requirements. Then the technical experts go away and devise a system to meet those requirements. And, and if, if they do that well, they will get a really good job. And, uh Sorry, over here. Okay. Uh, and this is the the next. Uh, sorry, Copenhagen. Um, is that uh, e next year? Yeah. Every year, DVB World 2015. Every year, um, we run a major conference, of a three-day conference. Um, it'll be March of next year in Copenhagen. Uh, we usually have about 250 people um, talking about all the new technologies. Some from DVB, some from outside DVB. So. It, good place to learn about what's happening in the digital world.